What's up, you guys? This is Karmic Endings, TNTN, where we talk about karmic situations that could be going on in your life at this time that you need to be aware of, or this could just be confirmation that you made the right decision or you're currently making the right decision. Archangels, spirit guides, ancestors of my highest good, please come in and protect me as I channel this ancestor message for Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo current ancestor message all right tune in and connect so you could be needing to tune in and connect when it comes to your ancestors you could be needing to detox and respect your body so you need to really be respecting your body for some of you guys you could be needing to detox okay your body okay get into nature so for some of you guys you need to be spending more time outside okay touch a tree or something like that or sit by a tree or something and for some of you guys you could be needing to really watch what you eat you know really watching what you eat and making sure you're taking care of your physical body at this time is very important okay very very important sagittarius aries and leo Actually, let me get these. Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. Faded meeting. So there's a faded meeting coming. Yeah, and it's going to balance. It's going to balance some things out for some of y'all this could be your twin your twin flame or something like that a person that you you know you share the same soul with yeah the garden bottom of the deck the art of the coven so for a lot of you guys there could be a faded meeting that you could be about to get into i feel like that this meeting is going to help balance some things out that you could be growing at this time so you could be growing some things at this time but i am seeing that there is a meeting with somebody that's going to help you balance some things out in your energy this person could be a cancer um a sagittarius like yourself uh this person could be a taurus as well okay don't have to be but that's what i'm hearing and seeing and feeling okay yeah Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. I'm hearing that somebody is going to teach somebody how to be on the top of some shit. Like somebody's going to really help somebody in their career and really like guide somebody. Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. Yeah, this is a romantic cycle. This person could be a Libra as well. Stand your ground. Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. Yeah, see your seeds grow. Conclusions are within reach for you. And we have the end of a tough cycle is approaching. So the end of a tough cycle is approaching. And you have conclusions are within reach. Okay? So, you got a lot of endings coming at this time. Take note to intuitive message that you are receiving at this time. You could be led to, like, move quickly when it comes to making, like, certain decisions. So, I'm, I'm hearing, like, make... I'm hearing your ancestors say this. Make quick, calculated moves. Make quick, calculated moves. That's just what I heard, Okay. But there is somebody, something with mountains could be significant. So for some of you guys, something about mountains. For some of you guys, you could be good at gardening as well. But I am seeing that you could be needing, for some of y'all, you're going to be needing to stand your ground when it comes to a romantic cycle. Somebody that you're going to be meeting or something like that. Okay, maybe um, this is a person, like this is a different person or something like that. Maybe you're going to be like taken up for this person or 
Somebody's going to be taken up for somebody or something like that. I'm feeling. Okay. Like I said, this person could be a Cancer, Taurus, Sagittarius like yourself, or a Libra. Okay. Or a Capricorn. All right. <clears throat> Let's see what you're going to have to stand your ground on. What are you going to have to stand your ground on? Let's see. Let's see. Let's find out what you're going to have to stand your ground on. Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. What is the stand your ground about? Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. Four of Swords and Five of Cups. Three of Wands. So for some of y'all, it's something that you've been praying about already. It's some, I'm, I'm hearing that it's something that you can foresee um, that's going to happen or something like that. I'm, I'm hearing you foreseeing something that's going to happen. But I'm hearing that you need to stand your ground against it, though. Okay, you already see what's happening. You already know what's occurring. For some of you guys, maybe you could feel some kind of way about it. Okay, you could feel sad about it, even though you know it's coming or you can foresee it. It's not, it's like you don't feel good about it, you know. Okay. But, I mean, it is what it is. Okay. Alright, yeah. For some of y'all, you can have an Aries in your energy, Scorpio, and then we do have Libra again. Okay. Yeah. Alright, so let's get into some current karmic energy. Okay, that's in your energy at this time. For Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. current karmic energy for Sagittarius Aries and Leo alright my altering spells is in the reverse so for some of y'all this person in your energy is a person that is figuring out that they can't mind fuck you I feel like that this is a person that always talk bullshit out their mouth let's see who this person is who is this current karmic energy spirit with Sagittarius Aries and Leo Who is this person? Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. This mind altering spell in reverse. Gut of mouth person. Who is this? Queen of Pentacles. For some of y'all, this could be a wife. Queen of Pentacles is a wife. Or this could be somebody. Um, yeah, this could be a wife for some of y'all. I'm hearing that uh, whoever this person is. If this is a wife feeling this way, you can't pull nothing over this wife. If this is a wife doing this, somebody already has figured out what this person is doing. <laughs> so somebody is not able to hide what they're doing. If somebody thought that they was hiding it, they're not able to because somebody already know what they're doing or what they're up to. Okay. All right. Give me one more on this energy for Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. Yeah, two of swords. Yeah, somebody know that somebody is two-faced. Nine of cups. Somebody know that somebody is two-faced. Somebody know that somebody is greedy. And that's why somebody is just choosing another path. Because somebody is just doing this shit effortlessly. Somebody is not trying to fight for somebody no more. Somebody is looking elsewhere. Somebody is not fighting with nobody no more. They just not giving a fuck, okay? <laughs> Somebody is just not caring no more. Or this is what's coming up. Like, they just not giving a fuck. Somebody is choosing a path. Yeah, three of swords. I mean, it's hard. It hurts. Because somebody gonna realize that somebody got a secret um, a relationship with, with an authority. So somebody could have like a cop friend or or somebody is in a affair or in a secret um 
some kind of partnership with the authorities and somebody is going to figure this out like damn you was in a secret um partnership with the authorities to try to come up against me yeah ten of swords ten ten yeah this is going to betray somebody somebody is going to feel so betrayed yep somebody teamed up with the authorities to come against somebody and that's what this is going to be found out about yep somebody could be a gemini strong cancer libra taurus aries gemini yeah whoa excuse me only take will resonate leaderess but that's what I'm seeing. Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. Something about white liquor. Somebody could like white liquor, clear liquor. Current energy. Current energy. I'm hearing for some of you guys somebody is too worried about what they lost like somebody is like you know like focusing on what they lost instead of like looking forward okay like somebody is really like like their energy is like really like focusing on what they lost somebody could have short straight hair x con could be significant somebody could have thin eyebrows something to do with a virgo or something about the ninth of the month okay we have a big butt club employee somebody can have a chill vibe we have you joggers some about a nuclear something six feet and up somebody can have short curly hair we have e q we have aries Somebody could love drinking beer. We have Divine Bean. C. W. Something about a boat or a yacht. Chest tattoo. We have Miscarriage. Colorful hair. And we have Cat. All right, so I am seeing that somebody may also, you know, have a miscarriage if they were pregnant or something like that. Somebody could be a makeup artist. Okay. What else, Spirit? I heard Cancun. I heard Canadian. What else, Spirit? I heard Maverick, something with Maverick, something with Maverick, I just heard. energy current energy for the collective of Sagittarius Aries Leo all right somebody could love suspense movies Z colorful socks hacker We have A, left arm tattoos, middle class. We have L, I heard Leah or Lay, motorcycle and or dirt bike could be significant. Somebody could love hoodies, back tattoos. I heard Neil, something with Neil, something with Val or Val, okay. Something with Calvin. Okay. Something with Calvin. 
something about a cane could be significant a cane c-a-n-e so something about a cane okay maybe somebody could do uh that powder okay somebody could do that powder okay something like that i just heard wayne as well something with annie something with elizabeth all right something with la california something like that something with nettie something with lene something with xena xena or lena something with wale All right, you guys, I'm going to leave it there. Like, comment, and subscribe. Look in the description box below for any other information about me. And until next time, peace.